It's Greta Lee here. Um, I'm gonna walk you through my skincare routine and how I achieve a casual glam look. I'm gonna take my Invisalign out so I don't have a speech impediment while I do this, so. It's actually too sexy for this, so I'm gonna turn around and do this part. Okay, so I wear this silky turban because it is really helpful for my hair. Um, okay, so let's see. Now that I've said that, let's see how we're doing. Yeah, pretty good. This is what I do first. You confront the face. I've got some activity, friends over here. I've been traveling a lot. Um, long flights just kill my skin. Um, it's dry, whatever, all good. That's what, that's what we're dealing with. So for my gentle, mild cleanser, I'm gonna use the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Here it is. Two pumps. It's really gentle. It feels so nice. And I'm just putting it right on my face. Instead of the traditional way of washing your face, I like to use a wet cloth and wipe away. Okay, I'm gonna roll my face. Growing up, my mom used to uh, give me diagrams with arrows all over it, like how to do this. And I thought she was a victim of some kind of like Ponzi scheme. But now, joke's on me, cause here we are. Hi, thanks mom, you are right. So I'm gonna do this, and I start here. Okay, so here's my toner. So you start down here, all about moving up, right? I have these two masks. I like to mix these two together, okay? So here's Mask Vivant, and Biomagic mask. Every time I put on this mask, I say, mask alert, so I don't scare my husband. I will let it sit for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so now I'm letting it sit. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna wipe it off. I threw it on, press it in. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some serums. Here are some of my buddies. I've got some more Biologique, and then I've got a, the Dior Capture Youth Plump Filler. I think today I'm gonna use a Dior. This is really good at like filling in some lines. One of the gifts of motherhood is um, it wreaks havoc on your skin. <laughs> So um, I'm nursing right now, and I found that when I am breastfeeding, the it kind of, it's like this part goes um, and I have to remind myself, stay calm, it's gonna be okay. Hydrating is really the key to all of this. Okay, so eye cream. I use this Valmont V-Line Lifting Eye Cream. Like this. I have like a really, uh, a good base of hydration and I'm gonna keep adding more. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we're finally ready to put on some makeup. Generally, I don't like to wear makeup when I'm not working, but if I'm gonna go out somewhere, um, I will do a quick kind of glam thing. I'm gonna use like a really light oil-based foundation this is just like evening it up for concealer. I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier. Sometimes I'll use a brush, but usually I'll just use my fingers to be totally honest. Yep, that bad boy. See ya later. This one here, bye. There's a big freckle here that sometimes I'm like, mm, you can stay. No, you can go, bye. Okay, good enough. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of contour. Okay, so I'm gonna use a cream blush. I'm using my fingers like this. So I'm just gonna do a little bit in here. So I'm gonna use this bronzer, this matte bronzer on my eyelids. So I'm gonna use this Chanel um, highlighter. This is a translucent color, um, so it's more natural looking. So I just go like this, 
I'm gonna just do a little bit in here and then a little bit in here. Just a touch. And then blend. Okay, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Great. My eyelashes have been curled um, and I'm gonna use this mascara. I like the Glossier Lash Slick um, because you don't have to use that much of it. Yep. Great. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and this could be like a whole separate like short film just on eyebrows. Here's a short history of my eyebrows. After I got pregnant with my first son, my, I, it's like a, a natural thing to lose some hair, your hair falls out, my brows were thinning. I totally freaked out and I got my eyebrows microbladed. However, I don't recommend it. I regret it, to be frank. It's turned a little bit orangey, which is not great. And I have plenty of brow, like it all grew back. So I could have chilled on that, right? It's important as women, we have to stay calm. It's gonna be okay. Don't do anything drastic like getting your eyebrows tattooed. Sometimes I'll use some makeup to um, neutralize this red. So I'm even gonna take a concealer and I'm gonna just, what I'm going for is a blurred look. A big blurry eyebrow. <laughs> See, the like orangey bits have toned down. And then from there, I'm going to brush up. And I'm using boy brow, obviously. I love boy brow because it's the perfect consistency. I don't know what, it's like a mousse. It blows in the wind. <laughs> okay, there we go. If I'm feeling really extra, I will use something like this, like the um, Glossier uh, Brow Flick. You can shake it, just like a little ball in here. I'm just, I'm connecting this part with these boys down there. Friendship, there we go. One happy family. All right, let's move on from the eyebrows. So this, I would stop here and be like totally good, totally happy. But tonight I'm going out and I want a little bit more of a glam look. So I'm gonna do a liquid liner. My technique for eyeliner is I'm gonna start on the outside right here. And I'm just gonna do short little strokes and then lift off into space. Is that even? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna do lips. So I'm going for a matte stain, so I'm gonna use this Glossier Generation G in Zip. A casual red lip, that's what I'm going for. So at this point, I feel like we're nearing the end for my hair. I'm just gonna use this pink hair tie. And then I like to just take these out because they're gonna come out anyways. So I'm gonna pretend like it's intentional, you know. I'm happy with this, this sort of pseudo glam look. It's like me plus. Thanks so much for watching you guys. 